Hi, I'm Ken Shirley. I'm here today with a Kanjira lesson focusing on the phrase Taddingi Natum. Now, for those of you who know Carnatic music, you've heard this phrase a lot. If you're new to it, let's go over this one. A Taddingi Natum is a five beat phrase, five pulses. I'm going to show you today on the Kanjira. The same stroke is played also on the Merdangam and Gatam. The five strokes on Kanjira for Taddingi Natum are played as follows what I would call a three because of those three fingers. Then a one, two more threes, and an open. So ta, din, gi, na, tum. Three, one, three, three, open. Ta, din, gi, na, tum. Ta, din, gi, na, tum. Ta, din, gi, na, tum. Let's loop that for a bit. I also want to show you two filled in variations that are often used. Different Kanjira players use this as part of the repertoire. I want to be clear that this material I have learned from my guru, the great Vidwan, Professor Trichy Shankran, who is a Madangam maestro. So the two variations are Taddinna Kittatum, meaning that you fill the fourth pulse with a Kitta, a 1 3. The phrase looks like Ta Din Na Kittatum. So in that fourth pulse, you double the speed. The other one is a much more filled in version. It's still considered a five pulse phrase. But it's very filled in. Kitataka, one three, one three. Kitataka, tum, open. Kita, one three. For Carnatic drummers, the Tadinginatum phrase is used so often in the Mora sequence that some people even refer to Mora as your, oh, play me your Tadinginatums. Okay? I'm going to show you some Moras that use the Tadinginatum phrase, but before that, let's do an exercise because you can also use Tadinginatum as part of flow patterns, as part of other sequences. So we'll do uh, an exercise that uses Tadinginatum in all these three variations. So there's just the basic Tadinginatum. There's the first fill, Tadinna Kitatum. And there's the second fill, Kitatakatum Kitatum. The exercise goes like this. Tum, Tadinginatum ta, Tadinginatum. That's the basic pattern. Tum, Tadinginatum ta, Tadinginatum tum, Tadinginatum ta. So open, then close, when the pattern loops, there are two tums, two open strokes, one after the other. Okay, let's just do that. One, two, three, four. Just gonna add a little extra water to the kanjira. Try to keep my base. There we go. Okay, let's do a variation on that exercise. So the first time, it's the regular ta dingina tum. On the repeat, after the ta, you do one of the fills. So tum, ta dingina tum ta, ta dinna kitatum tum, ta dingina tum ta, ta dinna kitatum tum. That's the first filler. So we're alternating between the basic ta dingina tum and the fill. Tum, ta dingina tum ta, ta dinna kitatum tum. Ta dingi na tum ta, ta din na keta tum tum. Five, six, seven, eight. Tum, ta dingi na tum ta, ta din na keta tum tum. Ta dingi na tum ta, ta din na keta tum tum. Ta dingi na tum ta, ta din na keta tum tum. Ta dingi na tum ta, ta din na keta tum tum.
Okay, let's do another variation on that exercise where we alternate between the basic tadingina tum and the second filler, ketataka tum, ketatum. So the phrase will be tum, tadingina tum ta, ketataka tum, ketatum, tum, tadingina tum ta, ketataka tum, ketatum, tum, tadingina tum ta, ketataka tum, ketatum, tum. Okay, just to be clear, the tum and the ta, the single strokes, there's a tum and two pulses, rest or a ta and two pulses rest to make a grouping of three. Tum, mm, mm. Ta, ding, gi, na, tum, ta, a, a, ta, ding, gi, na, tum. Now, why is it three? Because we're in even time, chatushra nadai, every pulse is divided into four or into eight. We're making patterns of eight. We have a five beat phrase, ta, ding, gi, na, tum. So we need a little extra filler of three pulses to make eights. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, tum, mm. ta, ding, gi, na, tum, ta, ta, din, na, keta, tum, tum, ta, ding, gi, na, tum, ta, keta, ta, ka, tum, keta, tum, tum. Let's do the second variation of this exercise using the keta, ta, ka, tum, keta, tum, every other time. We'll bring the tempo down a little bit so we have time to get all these extra strokes in. One, two, three, two, two, da, 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 ready, and go, and... My favorite version of this exercise is like this. Basic tadinginatum, first fill. Basic, second fill. Tum, tadinginatum ta, tadinna ketatum tum, tadinginatum ta, ketatakatum ketatum tum, tadinginatum ta, tadinna ketatum tum, tadinginatum ta, ketatakatum ketatum. And if you are keeping track of your tala, this is in aditala. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Tum, ta dingi na tum ta, ta din na keta tum tum, ta dingi na tum ta, keta ta ka tum keta tum tum, ta dingi na tum ta, ta din na keta tum tum, ta dingi na tum ta, keta ta ka tum keta tum ta. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's place the tadinginatum where we often hear it in Carnatic music, and that's as part of a mora. Mora, as a reminder, I, I have a whole series about moras. You can go check those out. Mora is a rhythmic cadence. It happens at the end of a phrase, at the end of a section, certainly at the end of an entire piece. And moras help to um, give extra emphasis to the ending of a phrase or a section of a, a section of a piece of music or the ending of a piece of music. And a mora is a repetition three times. So the very simple tadinginatum mora, which is used all the time, is just tadinginatum three times with the extra ta afterwards, which lands on sum. Okay, so we're going to structure this so that it is in aditala, meaning that the mora takes up almost four full beats of the tala, the last four beats, starting just after beat five. One, two, three, or tadingi natum tadingi natum tadingi natum ta and we're subdividing every akshara of the tala into four pulses tadingi natum tadingi natum tadingi natum ta a a a tu a a tu ta 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 four ta 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 tadingi natum tadingi natum tadingi natum ta one ta ta two three 
four. Two, three, four, five. Two, da, 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 three, da, da, four, and one more time. Da, 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 three, da, 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 four, and mm. let's work some of these variations in. Uh, this is definitely an aesthetic that I learned from my teacher, Professor Chichi Shankaran. Uh, it is something that I've heard when I've been to, to Chennai during concert season, and I've listened to lots of percussionists. This is an aesthetic that I've heard other people do, but I learned this by listening to my teacher for the last more than 20 years. Okay, And often, to, to build energy in a mora, the third repetition, something different happens. A more filled in version, a more emphasized version, some more energy goes into the third repetition. The first and second time, straight tadinginatum, the third repetition, let's do that first fill. Tadinakitatum. Otherwise, the mora is the same. It starts one pulse after the fifth beat in Aditala. One, two, three, four, and five. Two, three, and one more time three four and five we can also do the second fill in that same way so the basic tadinginetum twice and then kitatakatum ketatum as a substitute for the third time tadinginatum tadinginatum kitatakatum ketatum ta Let's try that. One, two, three, four, and five. Two, three, four, and five. Two, three, four, and five. One more time. One more time. And go. We can still experiment more with this. Let's try the first two times doing our first fill. Tadinna kitatum. Tadinna kitatum. Tadinna kitatum. Well, I mean, you, you can use it that way. You could just do that. If you want a more energetic mora, just do that three times. Just gives it a bit more energy. But if we use this aesthetic of um, spicing up the third repetition, we'll do the first fill. Twice, and then the second fill as the extra spice. Tadinna kitatum, tadinna kitatum, kitatakatum, kitatum ta. One, ta, 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 two, three, ta, 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 four, and tadinna kitatum, tadinna kitatum, kitatakatum, kitatum ta. You can even build a little bit of extra volume. You can, you know, crescendo towards the end of it. Just to add extra impact, extra energy. One, ta, ta, ta. Two, three, four, and. If you want to go full tilt, you can use the the second fill all three times just for a real impact. Okay. I would save that personally, use it when it really matters, but you can if you're going to use that same mora a number of times, you can always build the excitement. Okay. Let's do the mora three times in a row. And we'll we'll save the last ta until after we've done the third time. Let me explain. This is something which I've also heard my teacher do. He will use the same mora material. You'll think it's going to end on some. He will delay that as a way of playing with your rhythmic expectations. He will delay landing on some until he's repeated the same sequence two more times so that it's like one super mora. Okay. 
I did the basic tadinginatum as a three rep mora. Tadinginatum, tadinginatum, tadinginatum. I didn't add the ta. I just left a gap. Then I did the first fill three times. Tadinna kitatum, tadinna kitatum, tadinna kitatum. Again, I delayed the final ta. Then I did the second fill. Kitatakatum, kitatum, kitatakatum, kitatum, kitatakatum, kitatum, ta. And then at the end of all of that, I added it. Now this does fit. If I do this correctly, this does fit within one and a half cycles of Aditala, meaning you still start it after the fifth beat, and then you keep going, and you do that Mora sequence two more times, which will fill another four beats and another four beats, which is one full cycle. So you start after the fifth beat, and it sounds like this. It's a very satisfying experience to have your expectations played with as a listener. You think it's going to land on some, but then it doesn't quite. And there's this extra tension and build up and finally the release of, ah, yes, it lands on something. This is one of the things I love about Carnatic music is that it has this type of rhythmic play built right into the structure of it. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so the first iteration of the Mora, just a straight Tadanginatum. The second one, we do the first fill. The third one, we do the second fill, and then we end. One, two, three, four. Tadanginatum, Tadanginatum. Tiny bit faster. One, two, three, four, and. One more time. One, two, three, four, and go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Kanjira lesson. Please come back, subscribe to the channel if you like. I am going to continue uploading material about rhythm, drumming, and percussion.